Gabriel Brown attended his brother's National Guard service this week. Seated behind his heartbroken mother, Gabriel struggled to keep it together as the ceremony honored Garrison Brown. Keep reading to see snapshots of Gabriel at his brother's service. Hello lovely viewers, welcome to my channel. I am Mila. Hope your day is so well. If you like the video, don't forget to subscribe the channel. Gabriel Brown attends National Guard service for Garrison. The Sister Wives star wore khaki pants and a white shirt. His brother sported Hawaiian print ties with their dress clothes. A number of the family members were dressed in Hawaiian-style shirts, which Garrison was known to love. In fact, he had his own Hawaiian shirt company for a short period of time before he started pursuing a career as a nurse. Hunter sat next to his mother, Janelle Brown, at the ceremony. She wore all black and was visibly heartbroken throughout the service. As she was presented with her son's folded flag, the Sister Wives star pressed her lips together and tried to hold back tears that inevitably flowed. Gabriel Brown sat behind her, red-eyed and grieving for his late brother. The Nevada National Guard shared photos of the ceremony with a touching post about the late TLC star. One photo of the event showed the family with their heads bent in prayer, several of them holding onto each other for support. Remembering Garrison Brown and paying attention to mental health. Nevada National Guard officials made a post on Facebook to pay tribute to Garrison Brown while remembering all of the people he impacted during his short time on Earth. Brown, a beloved son, brother, uncle, and friend, was born to Janelle and Kobe Brown and was the sixth child of a large family, the post read. He is survived by his family and three cats, Kathew, Patches, and Ms. Buttons. Preceding him were Cheryl Lee Brown, William Wynn Brown, and Curtis Taylor Brown. The National Guard included information for counseling and therapy services in their post for Garrison. The entire Nevada National Guard community shares in the sorrow of losing staff sage. Robert Garrison Brown. We recognize the profound impact of his absence on our fellow members and the 221st Cavalry family, who are deeply affected by the loss of their trusted companion. The post concluded with contact information for mental health programs for Garrison's fellow service members. Garrison Brown died on March 4 due to a self-inflicted gunshot wound. His younger brother, Gabriel Brown, found him in his home in Flagstaff, Arizona. The entire family has been struggling to deal with the loss of the 25-year-old. Sister Wives star Janelle Brown told investigators she had been concerned about her son's mental health prior to his death. She told police on the scene that she wished she would have gotten him help sooner. The Brown family reunited for the first time in a while to honor Garrison's memory. A heartbroken Janelle Brown accepted a folded American flag from the Nevada National Guard as she was surrounded by people who loved Garrison. Janelle sat in the front row next to Hunter Brown. Jean Yell. Garrison's grandmother and Cody Brown's mother sat next to Hunter. Robin and Cody sat next to Janielle, and David Woolley was positioned next to Cody. Next in the line of mourners was Christine Brown. Mary Brown sat next to Gwendolyn Brown across the aisle from the other former wives. Robin Brown looked mournful as Janelle was handed the folded flag. The Sister Wives star wore a black dress with blue flowers on it. Next to her, Cody sported a blue suit with a salmon-colored shirt underneath. He appeared to be checked out during the service, showing little to no emotion. He held on to Robin's knee at different points to show support. Photos of the ceremony show the entire family with their heads bent in prayer. They also give glimpses of some of the individuals who served with Garrison Brown. The Nevada National Guard wrote a Facebook post to accompany the photos of Garrison's service. Brown's friends and family remember him for his sense of humor and ability to connect with others. His passing has left a void in their hearts, the post read. His memory serves as a reminder to cherish loved ones and prioritize compassion. Cody and Robin Brown have stayed quiet in mourning. Both Cody and Robin Brown have remained relatively silent since the news of Garrison's death broke in early March. At the time of his passing, Garrison and Cody were estranged. Janelle Brown spoke about their strained relationship with police when they reported to the scene of the incident. 
Although Gabriel Brown initially went to get his dad to bring him to Garrison's home, Cody and Robin Brown did not come to the scene. A couple of days later, it was rumored that mental health services were called to Cody's home. Janelle pointed to their difficult relationship as one of the reasons that Garrison's mental health was suffering. She expressed regret that she had not gotten help for her son before something serious happened. Sister Wives star Mary Brown's actions have been under the radar since the passing of Garrison Brown. The latter committed suicide and left a void in the hearts of his family and fans. Hence, the viewers have turned into a grief police to slam the family members for their way of grieving the loss. Cody Brown has been staying low-key as usual since the passing of his son. He hasn't shared any statements or posts since the family tragedy. Still, the critics have been slamming and accusing him of not loving his son enough. Moreover, Mary Brown has shared her condolences about losing a precious family member. But the haters have started bashing her for continuing her Friday with Friends session on Instagram. A large portion of the audience has now come in to support her and asked if she really deserved the hate. Sister Wives Here's why critics should stop hating Mary for her behavior after Garrison's death. Mary Brown has been grieving the loss of Garrison Brown, just like other family members. All the Sister Wives stars have been handling the loss differently. Some of the members have also returned to social media to distract their minds and cope with the loss. Mary Brown has been doing the same by continuing the weekly session on Instagram. However, the critics started lashing out at the celeb for exchanging jokes and laughing too soon after the family tragedy. Recently, some TLC viewers decided to support the reality TV star and started a Reddit thread. The OP said, Mary's latest post doesn't deserve the hate it's getting. The Sister Wives fan went ahead and explained that horrible comments from people swarmed her latest post. Moreover, the fan highlighted how laughing helps a lot in the healing process for those who lost their loved ones. Further, the OP added, Mary has met death multiple times. This isn't her first loss in life. This isn't her full biological child like Leon is. However, by posting the video on her Instagram, he made it clear that Mary didn't miss Garrison any less. Additionally, the fan requested the critics to let the family grieve in peace. Several fans came in support of Mary and agreed with the OP. One fan said, My God, I can't stand grief police. The others also agreed that Mary didn't deserve the hate at all. Sister Wives, how are the other family members coping with the loss? Sister Wives fans have been watching the Brown family grieving the loss of Garrison Brown since he committed suicide. Janelle has been sharing several memories of her son and sharing donation updates for the animal shelter on social media. Meanwhile, Michael T. Madison and Logan have shared their tributes with some kind words. They have also encouraged their followers to talk more about mental health. Moreover, Christine has made it clear that she had to return to social media to avoid staying in bed all day. The TLC stood her ground for using the platform because her work includes posting on her account. Hence, all the family members have been using different ways to move on in their lives, and they need to be left alone.